Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Nickel, and I'm here with uh, some words of encouragement for you on Sunday, March 22nd. The elders and I and our intern, uh, Harry Grimes, are going to be doing some uh, words of encouragement from time to time for you. Uh, we'll record them, and you can play them at your leisure. For today, um, I thought, since I had a conversation with uh, a pastoral buddy of mine, he said his congregation is... We, we don't know when we're going to have services again in person, so whenever that's going to be will be Easter, and uh, which sounds like a great idea, great celebration. Um, I sent a note back to him saying, well, does that mean from now until then, from now until then, it's just kind of a long, perhaps extended Lent? And he said, well, actually Lent means lengthening, and it's a, it's a good time for... Uh, remembering our, our baptism and, uh, and repenting during Lent, and uh, it's probably a good thing. So uh, with that, I looked at uh, today's uh, messages in the treasury of daily prayers, which sometimes I do my devotions out of, and it has this um, Lenten Catechesis on Holy Baptism, which I thought I would share with you. Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Mark, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16, 16. St. Paul in Titus chapter 3 says, he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. Titus 3, 5 to 8. Finally, St. Paul writes in Romans chapter 6, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. That's from Romans 6, 4. Would you, play, would you please pray with me? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, your mercies are new every morning. And although we deserve only punishment, you receive us as your children through holy baptism. You provide for all our needs of body and soul. Grant that we may heartily acknowledge your merciful goodness, give thanks to you for all your benefits, and serve you in willing obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In Jesus' name, bye-bye.